In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a side-by-side -side split screen video effect in Adobe Premium Processing. Yo okay, everybody, I'm Ray Moses and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Click on the notification bell below uh, to stay updated whenever I upload a new video and you can drop a like too for the algorithm. There are many ways of making a side-by-side -side split screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CC and today we shall use the crop method. First things first, let's head over to Adobe Premiere Pro CC and dive right into it. So we're going to go ahead and drop our video clips into the timeline, two video clips into the timeline, and one of them will be above the other. So uh, so since we're already in Premiere Pro, what we're gonna do next is uh, we're going to uh, drag and drop our uh, clips into the timeline. Uh, as you can see right here, I've already dropped, uh, dragged and dropped my two clips into the timeline. So we're going to be working with two clips. So the first clip is this one right here. Let me play it so that you can, uh, you know, watch it. And then uh, uh, my second clip is just right, this this one right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drag this clip on top of the first clip so that it sits just right there. So uh, if I play it, I'll only be able to see the first clip. So uh, the next thing uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'll head over to effects and then uh, I will uh, type crop. And then what I'm gonna do next is drag this crop effect into the first, uh, the top video. And then uh, what I'll do next is uh, I'll go into the effects control panel uh, and then I go into crop and then I'll just crop this video just up to somewhere there. Oh, yeah, you look at that and you're like, oh, it's not in the middle. <laughs> So to align and make sure this thing, uh, the video is on the middle, uh, we shall go ahead and uh, click on Safe Margins. You may be asking, what are Safe Margins? Safe Margins provide visual indicators or boundaries within which you can restrict your video images and text to the safe areas, like just right here. Yeah, so to fix that problem, you need to head over here uh, into the safe margins and just click on the safe margins and it will tell you right here where the middle of uh, the screen is. So if you don't have the safe margins, you go ahead and click here and uh, the safe margin is right here. You drag and drop it down here and then you click OK. Your safe margins will be uh, shown here. So uh, with the safe margins now, uh, I'm able to put this in right in the middle so what I will, I will do I will go ahead and just look for my middle which is right there so the next thing we shall do is uh, we shall go to position and then scale this image so that is right in the middle uh, of this uh, frame I need to uh, position this really well because right now it's you can't see the two faces so what I'm gonna do to position I will highlight this and then uh, I head over to position and then I just uh, move it like this. Uh, I move it and then I move it up to somewhere that I can see something like that. So when I play this, you're able to, you know, uh, see it uh, very nicely. So right now we're pretty much done, but the video still does not look uh, really perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the rectangular tool and then uh, just uh, divide the video into two and uh, this will make the uh, the margins really visible. So let's go ahead and remove the self margins and then play this. Uh, so when I play it, you're able to, you know, uh, see it very nicely. Yeah, we made it. But wait a minute, our video is still not, you know, it's not yet, uh, you can't know the separation between the two. So what I'm gonna do next is I'll head over here uh, to this uh, drop down menu uh, and then I just select my rectangular tool. And then what I'll do, I'll draw a rectangle, a rectangle right over in between the two videos, just right here. And then this will help me separate the two videos as you can see. So what I'll do, I'll just drop this behind and then uh, make it even more uh, longer. And uh, so when I play this video, you'll see that uh, the rectangle is right there. So if I want to change the color of this rectangle, what I'll do, I'll just highlight the rectangle and then I go into shapes and then click on fill. I want black, so I'll click on black and then click OK. So uh, scale this well, take it a little bit high and then so if I play now the video there we go, it's divided into two and boom, we made it! 
Thanks guys for watching. If this video added value to you, please consider subscribing. Click on the notification bell below to stay updated whenever I upload a new video. Like this video, share it with your friend. And watch this next video to learn how to recover your lost sequence uh, or timeline on Adobe Premiere Processing.